Hi there, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and welcome back to our video review of the Uniview Fisheye Lens Security Cameras. In today's video, we're going to be checking out a live install of one of these 12 megapixel fisheye security cameras, which we currently have set up in our warehouse. We have this installed on the ceiling right there in the center of the room, and since installation height is important when installing a fisheye camera like this, we do have this mounted to this pole mount. If we just had it mounted directly to that ceiling beam up there, the image probably would not look as good as it does. We've got a lot to cover in this video, so let's go ahead and jump right into the camera's web interface. And here we are at our camera's live view. Now we can see pretty much the whole warehouse here on this fisheye lens, uh, and we have a pretty big warehouse. But here we can see all four walls, we have the entrance here, our receiving area, and all these different warehouse shelves. It's pretty crazy that from this one camera we have this huge field of view, and we can see everything that's going on in this warehouse. Now again, we have our 12 megapixel version installed here in our warehouse. This camera does come in 5 megapixels and 12 megapixels, and there are a few differences between the two cameras besides the resolution. As we get to a feature that is present here in the 12 megapixel version, but not present in the 5 megapixel version, I will let you know. Now let's talk about some of the ways that we can manipulate this live view. First we have the preview mode menu over here. As you can see, the original fisheye image is currently selected, but we can also change this to a 360 degree panoramic view. And as we do, we have the full panoramic view down here, and right here we have a de-warped version. And I can click in that window and drag around to change what part of the image I'm seeing. Or I can click on this little window down here and drag it to wherever on this panoramic view I want it to be focused. We also have a 180 degree panoramic view. This just splits that panoramic view in half. So we have both sides of the warehouse present here. And if I don't like the way this is positioned, I can drag this around to where here we have the front of the warehouse is in focus up here and the back of the warehouse is in focus down here. Finally, we have our various PTZ views. We have a three PTZ split view, a four PTZ, 6 PTZ or 8 PTZ split view. And I can manipulate these PTZ views just like I could the panoramic view. I can click in there and drag wherever I want this image to be focused. Or I can click here on this window and drag it around the fisheye view. With this I can also zoom in using my mouse wheel and zoom out. And as I do you can see this window over here and our fisheye view gets bigger and smaller. Now here is the main difference between the 5 megapixel and the 12 megapixel fisheye cameras. With this 12 megapixel camera, I have a preview mode, but I also have an operation mode. With the 5 megapixel camera, I only have one fisheye menu. The difference here is as I'm messing around with these preview modes on the 12 megapixel version, or the various fisheye modes on the 5 megapixel version, it's not actually changing the way the camera operates. Let me show you an example. If I come over here to our panoramic view and click start recording, I can click and drag around on this camera screen and manipulate the view all I want, but it's not actually affecting the way this camera is recording. So even though I was in panoramic mode moving the camera around, my recording is just this static fisheye view. But if I come in here and I change this operation mode to panoramic, and then come in here and do a local recording, we can see that the actual operation of the camera has changed. Therefore, it's not recording the standard fisheye view, it's actually recording this panoramic view here. This concept is gonna come in handy when I show you how to add this to your NVR here in a little bit. But just keep in mind, this is only available with the 12 megapixel version. With the five megapixel version, fisheye is the only operation mode, and therefore you can only change the preview mode. So just to sum all that up, the preview mode over here changes how you experience the live view, but it doesn't actually change anything about how the camera operates. Operation mode, on the other hand, will change how the camera operates and functions, which will affect how it is added to an NVR, and it will affect any NVR or SD card recordings. Let's go ahead and jump into the setup menu, and I will show you a couple more features with regards to preview versus operation mode. 
First, if we head into our video and audio settings, you can see that here on our 12 megapixel version, we have our fisheye video settings, but we can also adjust separate video settings for our 4PTZ stream and for our panorama stream. You can see that even though we have the full 4000 by 3000 12 megapixel image available on the fisheye and panorama view, on the 4PTZ split view, we can only go up to 1080p. All right, now I'm gonna actually show you how to set this camera up on your NVR, but first there are a couple of things to keep in mind. We do have two different types of NVRs in our Uniview product line. We have our full 12 megapixel NVRs that range from eight channel to 64 channel, but we also have our light eight megapixel NVRs, which range from four channel to 16 channel. So if you have a 12 megapixel fisheye, for instance, you won't be able to record the full 12 megapixel resolution on our light NVRs. However, even if you have the 5 megapixel fisheye, there still will be some benefits for you choosing a 12 megapixel NVR. The reason for that is our 8 megapixel NVRs do not have full functionality when it comes to fisheye controls and de-warping. We will talk more about those differences when we actually get to the NVR interface, but for now, just know that I am using our 12 megapixel 8 channel NVR for this demo. So we can see that we already have this fisheye added. We also have four additional channels from our PTZ. In fact, as I come in here and change this operation mode to PTZ, watch how the channels populate on the TV screen behind me. And if we come in here to our NVR, we can see that we now have these four channels and we, these actually function as actual PTZs. So I can use the PTZ controls here on the screen or here on this side panel to move the camera around and get the exact configuration that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and set up, we'll click on cameras and you can see that we have our fish eye camera here and the four PTZs. It's all the same IP address because it's all the same camera but this NVR again is treating it as though it were five separate cameras. Now to add this camera, you would come over here to auto search and find the camera in question, which is this IP address .88. And you can see here that we have five cameras available because we are in PTZ mode. If I were to come back in here and go to regular fisheye mode and click auto search, scroll down to .88, you can see that we now only have one camera available. Now that we have this camera added to our NVR as well as the various PTZ views, let's go ahead and jump onto the HDMI interface and we will see everything we can do straight from the NVR. And here we have our fisheye camera. Notice that here on the 12 megapixel NVR, we do have these fisheye mode functions, which just like on the web interface, let us switch to these different views, like our 360 panoramic view. I can click and move this around just like I can on the web interface. We also have our 180 degree panoramic view and our various PTZ preview modes. And again, we can have up to eight different PTZ views and I can click on this image here and drag them around so I can focus one on Jarrell here put another one there on Jared's desk. I can grab one to throw over there at the entrance of the warehouse. You get the picture. Just keep in mind that this is only changing the display mode. As I mentioned earlier, these de-warping modes change how we experience the fisheye view, but it's not actually changing how the camera operates. So if I were to exit our fisheye controls and go into playback, we can see that nothing in the last couple of minutes has actually changed on the playback even though we were messing around with the different views. However, even when we are in playback here, we can open fisheye mode and activate these panoramic views or PTZ views to de-warp these images as they're playing back. So this is not real time right now. This was just a couple of minutes ago, but I can also go to say two o'clock this morning and we can check out that 30 foot IR range here. Even though this was recorded at two o'clock this morning, I can still interact with this fisheye view through these de-warping methods. I can also go into my PTZ modes here. So when the camera is in fisheye operation mode, we are able to still manipulate these views during playback. Let's go ahead and change the operation mode from fisheye to PTZ. To do that, we're gonna go back to our menu and we're gonna click here on this fisheye menu 
we'll click edit and change the mode to fisheye plus four PTZs. With these boxes selected, those four PTZs are going to be enabled on those four different channels. So when I click apply and head back to my live view, we can now see that I have five channels populated by this camera. We have our fisheye view up here and our four PTZs. Now each of these PTZs act like a completely different camera since they are on different channels. I can do anything with these five channels that I would be able to do with five individual cameras. So that's a really cool feature of these fish eyes. But here's the difference that I want to point out. If I want to move these PTZs around, I have to go into the PTZ controls because the NVR is treating this as if it were an actual PTZ. So to move it, I can pan, I can tilt, and I can zoom just like I could on a regular PTZ camera. Note that even though this is our 12 megapixel fish eye, when we go into the PTZ controls, each of these channels only records in full HD 1080p, also known as two megapixel. So there is going to be a bit of quality reduction, but that's not a problem because even when we are recording these four PTZ modes, we do still have our full 12 megapixel fisheye mode here. You can see that here on our four individual PTZ modes, we do not have fisheye controls. So we can't actually manipulate the PTZ camera as we could a fisheye camera. And because of that, if we come in here to our playback menu and watch just the last couple of minutes, you can see that the fisheye menu is grayed out and it's moving around right now because it was moving around at that time. So the PTZ channels only record movement if movement is happening. I can't come in here after the fact and move this PTZ around because the NVR is not treating this like a fisheye camera, it's treating it like a PTZ. However, since these are on different channels, I can come in here and select my fisheye, and for the last couple of minutes, hit play. I can still manipulate this view just like normal. So adding these extra PTZ views, or this panoramic view, doesn't actually mean we're going to be missing out on anything happening in this camera's wide field of view. We will still have access to the full fisheye image through this first channel. A big difference to keep in mind between the 8 megapixel NVR and the 12 megapixel NVR is that only the 12 megapixel version is able to display these de-warping views directly from the NVR's live interface. The lighter 8 megapixel NVRs do not have these fisheye functions. You can still add your fisheye camera, but you won't be able to de-warp it in real time or during playback. However, even with the 8 megapixel NVRs, if you log into the web interface, you will still have access to the fisheye de-warping controls. You just won't have it available to you on the NVR's HDMI interface. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something about our Uniview fisheye cameras, and if you still have any questions about these cameras or about anything else, feel free to contact us anytime. We're always happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us across social media so you never miss another security-related video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.